good morning. So behind me, behind these gates that you can see, is the Valencia Camping, or sorry, Nomadic Camping Car Air. That's a little bit different because you need to book this place. As you can see here, there's two vans parked on the street who didn't book it, and that's been the case all week. This isn't an air you can just turn up at. And the reason for that is that airs in Valencia are few and far between. And this one is about half an hour's bike ride along a very established cycleway into the city of Valencia. And it's probably the most competent and most uh, well facilitated air that we've been on. But it is uh, on an industrial complex and it's got a fence around it which is good for security. On first impressions when you arrive you wonder what, uh, what you've come to really. But nothing could be further from the truth, it's quiet. And in fact I'm concerned that I won't be able to explain it properly on video, just how good this place is. Um, you sort of have to be here, you know. Uh, it's um, an eclectic mix of van lifers, um, motorhomers, camper van owners, you name it. The whole all of van life is here and uh, getting on very well. And the other thing as well is, in case I forget, this place serves craft beer. So let me take you inside and show you. So that's the entry, and when you arrive they send you by email a uh, code for the gate. And so you go through the gate at the side, telling me here they open the gate to let you in. It's not that I think this is a high crime area, I just think it's that they've done very well with the um, security arrangements. So we push it in. And uh, walk into the place, this is the reception. There's the logo. Reception's not quite open yet. It serves the essentials, orange, beer. Did I mention beer? And some wine. Valencian oranges, if you're not tasting them, are the best in the world. Uh, no question. And so there's room for, I don't know, maybe 40 bands. Um, across here is a, a little area where, if you don't want to sit around your van, you can go and buy yourself a craft beer and sit out here and uh, or a glass of wine and enjoy it. Uh, but like I say, as I walk down, I'm going to speak a little bit less now because people are still sleeping. But uh, I'll show you. Couple of overlanders in. Impressive vehicles. This guy's a cyclist. Of some quality. So that's a very quick fly through the site. There is showers here that are very well equipped, very clean, very modern. There is um, obviously all your facilities you need. Fill up, drop off, toilet emptying, you name it. This site's got it all and um, it's pretty good. You need your bikes to get into um, Valencia unless you use the train, because there is a train here and you can get the train straight in. It's just whether you're happy to do that in COVID times. is just in smack bang in the centre of Valencia. Um, I'll, we'll put a tag on underneath as to what it's called, but it's uh, really quite quiet and beautiful. I'm just sort of thinking about joining in with the uh, Morning Pilates class down there, seeing what that's like. 
there's probably one of the most, uh, the biggest and one of the most famous festivals happening in Valencia at the minute, and it's Las Fallas. before and we've been to the palace and we'll put a link into the um, below to show to have a look so you can see all the fireworks um, and all the uh, gunpowder and the little uh, firecrackers that go off at two o'clock in the central square now we need to be away from that today because it'll be a little bit um, disconcerting for poppy so we'll put the link in so you can see exactly what happens but what we're hoping to do is to go into the city center and see the big paper mache figures that all the local di districts of Valencia have made. Um, they're quite something to behold. They're colourful, they're quite of some considerable size as well. So, um, yeah, the Mascalata, which is the fireworks, is at two o'clock, and the Festival of Las Fallas goes on for, I think, something around about three weeks. bikes now after a fantastic lunch sat in a lovely square with the uh, all the locals um, just passing the time of day it's a really relaxing place to be so we've got the um, lovely architecture around us there's the university there's um, the museum so now we're gonna have a little um, ride only a couple of minutes away and see if we can find the plaza and all the um, ninos You can just see to the right of the Ninos just hanging down in like a what looks to be a fenced off area. It looks like there's like, dare I say, orange bananas hanging down. Well, they're all firecrackers and fireworks. There will be a sort of smoke bombs going off. It really is um, colourful, vibrant, noisy. Uh, when we came it was the final week so the square was absolutely packed and uh, we got here at 12 o'clock and literally stood to the uh, left of where you can see the um, balcony just there and we stood up against the wall and we had to get here a couple of hours early to make sure that we could be in the in the town centre but because it's not the main week of the festival it's actually not quite as busy believe it or not but they can get thousands and thousands of people and sometimes you can only get a few streets away and that's the closest that you can get what a wonderful day this place is just it is rocking. awesome isn't it it's awesome i'm just going to turn it around now to show you some of the people in traditional costume yeah absolutely 
So you can see the ladies and gentlemen in their traditional costume. They'll be making their way towards the... There is actually, a bit like we would have a May Queen, there is, um, I guess you would call it the... Um, the, their equivalent and it's the lady that sort of wins the biggest prize and gets to start the mascalata and you can see it's very traditional the dress the especially the hair um, they look a little bit like on the side of the hair a little bit like princess leia from star wars but that's a very traditional makeup um, of how they look different colors different areas but they're all there waiting to go up onto the balcony, ready to start the mascalata. We would love to stay and appreciate what can only be described as an assault on all the sensors when the fireworks and, the, and everything else goes off. But uh, the best thing we can do now is to get out of here and take Poppy somewhere a little bit safer and a little bit less noisy. En saber que eso sería una exoneración a sectores privados implicados en este proyecto y que habrían de ser las administraciones públicas implicadas que habrían de pagar por este proyecto de reorganización del país del Grau. Pero el que más nos ha creado de acción en ese día de Convengut ha sido la firma, ya que los presidentes han expresado en una mena de líder de la oposición, de hecho, cuando le han preguntado, hey, en ese sentido, que arriba va así en cualidad de ciudadano de Perú que dispuda de esta información relevante, pero a nosotros en esa zona como una mena de campaña en nombre a una candidatura a la alcaldía de Valencia, ya que en tal momento ha amagado el seis de Sitch de convertirse en candidato por el municipio. There you've got the uh, Valencian bullring. and bustle of the city of Valencia and we've come down to the port and the harbour and there's uh, I have to say there's one or two very nice boats here
that was um, probably one of the best days we've had out oh, in Spain. Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah, Absolutely really tremendous. Hard to sometimes pick out on video when you get a sense of the spirit of the people. Mm. They get excited for the festival that's on now, really, but as you've seen, but really takes off next week, as we've yeah. explained. So, wow, what a day. We've ridden about 20 miles, all off-road. You would have to probably go to Holland to see a, a, an off-road bike network as good as this, or certainly somewhere like Munich. Mm -hmm. uh, really good, enjoyable day. Uh, Poppy's had a good day too, everybody's loved her. <laughs> she gets so much attention when she's in the uh, K9 sports sack. Uh, we keep saying she's uh, famous in, in many cities now. <laughs> and, uh, to her. <laughs> he did, a couple of street photographers asking if they could take a picture, and uh, loads of people speaking to her in Spanish. <laughs> So uh, she's, uh, she now knows that she's a Porro. She's a Porro, yeah. yeah. Um, Porro! Porro! Yeah, so, so we're going to have um, a beer. Yep. The, this is uh, Valencian craft beer sold on the, uh, on the on air. The so this is going to be the end of this vlog. Yes. We hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and the notification button. You can also follow us on... Instagram and Facebook. And the details are below. So with that said, Martin out. Helen out. <laughs>